Hello, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly create a loop in Pro Tools. I'm gonna to use the down arrow on my keyboard to define the beginning of the selection and the up arrow to define the end of the selection. Let's start. Here we go. Two, three, four, down arrow. There's my selection start. Four, two, three. up arrow. Okay, I've defined the selection. I'm gonna zoom in on it and see how accurate I was. I missed the downbeat by just a bit here. I'm gonna use Shift Option Tab with Tab, tran tab to Transient enabled to extend my selection just prior to that downbeat. That's where I want my loop to start. I'm gonna hit the right arrow key to go to the right end of my selection. And I can see that I was a little bit late. So I'm gonna hold the shift key and the selector tool to bring my selection back just prior to that downbeat. And shift tab to transient to extend it right to the downbeat. So this should be a very accurate loop. And I want to trim it up. I want to get rid of the audio outside of my selection. I'm going to hit Command T on a Mac or Control T on a Windows machine. Okay, so there's my loop. Let's listen to it. See, let's see if it loops on itself smoothly. Okay, cool. My next problem is it doesn't match the tempo of the song that I'm bringing in. Okay, so I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna go to grid mode and I'm gonna move the clip to start right on a downbeat. You can see that it's a little bit longer than four bars. It's actually a four bar loop, so I need to fix that. I'm going to enable uh, polyphonic elastic audio on the track. We'll go to clip menu, conform to tempo, and we'll bring the click up a little bit. Let's listen to it. There you go. There's a few shortcuts in there and you might have to rewind a little bit to catch them, but hopefully this helps.